All right, what's up, High Performance Nation? We are uh, live here. Um, you're going to start to see some uh, content be pushed out to you guys every single Wednesday. Uh, this is the first in a series. You might have seen the title. This is going to be Nutrition Basics, Things You Need to Know. Uh, one of the things we got from the survey was absolute need for just some nutrition uh, talk and some education on what good nutrition looks like and how you are um, fueling your performance every single time you eat something. Uh, we are all, all creatures of habit, uh, so you kind of tend to fall on things that you're used to doing. And this next little bit for us is going to be ways to break that habit and some things you can do to change uh, your perspective on food and kind of what food actually does for you and, and things like that. So we're going to start very, very bare bones today, super, super basic with basically what the CrossFit mantra is about eating um, about eating food and then uh, what the three macronutrients do, all right, bare bones, basic stuff. I see we got uh, got James Cooper is on the on the live here, and he's probably a super good resource for you guys to talk to when we can start talking about the more advanced things along um, about uh, supplementation and things like that. But this is like level one, like freshman year of college information. All right. So first off, the the CrossFit mantra, how Greg Glassman started his. Uh, his formative piece, World Class Fitness in 100 Words, is eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. That's it. That's the super basics of nutrition. So eat meat and vegetables, right? Even if you're a vegetarian, eat vegetables. Just block out that meat part, right? Eat meat and vegetables. Super easy. Nuts and seeds, right? Just good quality sources of fat. We'll kind of talk about that later, nuts and seeds. Um, some fruit, right? Fruit is a very potent source of uh, sugar for the body and in the body. Um, little starch. So a little bit of uh, your rice, your potatoes, things like that. Um, we steer away from bread but bread will be considered a starch. We'll kind of get into more about why that's uh, bad as we go. And then no sugar, all right? That's the key. Sugar, we're finding more and more and more is the cause of more issues for people than anything else. And this is the any sort of sugar that you find um, out of like a, a bag in the store. So like the Dixie Crystal stuff, uh, anything you have to add to something to make it taste sweeter or better is what we're considering sugar. So anything added to anything else to make it taste better. This comes in a lot of forms. Uh, high fructose corn syrup, uh, sugar, uh, even like we'll get into more of the, the stevias and honeys kind of down the road a little bit. But basically if you have to add sugar to make it taste better, don't eat it. All right. Now some things have natural sugars. We're not talking about those right now just things that have added sugar to make it taste better. So with that strategy, eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar. How do you do that? How do you implement that right away? Is you start shopping at the grocery store around the perimeter, right? That's where all of your fresh stuff is. So your produce section is probably gonna be most stores. Uh, I know Publix is way to the left. Kroger, it's right, way to the right, like your produce section, your fresh vegetables, uh, your um, fruits and stuff are going to be over there. Usually your nuts and your seeds are close by that produce section. Uh, then that back wall of most grocery stores is going to be where your eggs, which are meat, uh, eggs, your all your meats, your fish, your chicken, your pork, your, your cow are going to be uh, then kind of on down the line talking about dairy like milk and stuff like that and then uh, even on the on the other perimeter side you're gonna find frozen vegetables all right some of us that can't get uh, don't have the opportunity to cook fresh vegetables every single day frozen vegetables are a good choice uh, as a good secondary choice for for fresh and a lot of the 
a lot of the stores, you can kind of look in the packages in the back and see there's nothing added to the vegetables. They're just vegetables that are frozen. All right, that's a good, uh, a good choice. So you got that. The basic mantra of eating and how we start every single CrossFit athlete with is can you do this basic thing for 30 days? All right, can you eat meat and vegetables, nuts and seeds, some fruit, little starch, no sugar for 30 days? That's the start, all right? Before we talk about supplements, before we start talking about macronutrients, nutrient timing, things like that, can you do this simple thing for 30 days? And the answer is yes, we've all done it, you can do it too, all right? In fact, we have a uh, little bit of a challenge coming up for the gym. Uh, we're gonna start it August 1st. We're gonna start August 1st. We're gonna have more details to come. We kind of mapped it out today. Uh, the challenge is gonna be nutrition-based. All right, we're going to meet you where you are, but it's going to be nutrition-based, and it's going to get harder every two weeks. It's going to be a six-week challenge of just eating better. The first two weeks are, can you follow the CrossFit mantra? Do you understand uh, how this stuff works? All right, so the last little bit for today is bare basic bones about what each of the three macronutrients do. All right, so you have carbohydrates, you've got proteins, and you've got fats, right? you must consume each of these three things because they in turn give your body the fuel it needs to perform daily tasks and exercises. Your main fuel source in any given CrossFit workout is carbohydrates. All right, we operate in this thing in the gym called glycolysis. All right, very simply put, glycolysis is the breakdown of glucose. So glucose, Isis or lysis is the breakdown of that. Okay, so you need carbohydrates. Most people think of carbohydrates as bread and pasta. Change that mindset right now. Carbohydrates are vegetables and fruit. So in our mantra, eat meat and vegetables, there's no stipulation on the quantity of vegetables. Eat meat and vegetables, all right? Nuts and seeds, some fruit. All right, some fruit is not the majority of your carbohydrate intake is fruit. All right, it doesn't say anything about bread and pasta quite yet because it says little starch. Some fruit, little starch, no sugar. All right, a little bit of starch is okay. That's your rices and potatoes. All right, get off that bread train and pasta train for right now. All right, so we've got our carbohydrates. We're going to be mostly vegetable based. And if you're a creature of habit, try to vary up the kind of vegetables you get on a daily basis. All right. Next thing we have is proteins. All right. Most people know what protein is. Uh, basically, it's anything that, uh, for, for this example, anything that has a face. All right. So cows, fish, chicken, pork. Um, if you're the, the vegetarian type, like we'll, we'll go the soy route and the, and the tofu route as an opportunity to to have that counted as protein, yes. It is not nearly as good as animal protein, but for this, it counts, all right? Uh, and then finally you have, and well, so the reason you eat protein, sorry, is every single time you work out, if you work out the right way, um, you are creating microscopic tears in your muscles, all right? So in order to rebuild that muscle, you need more protein matter. So that protein kind of gets broken down into its essential parts, and that helps to rebuild the muscle, which is what you need. All right. Uh, third is is fat. All right. Fat is a, an energy source that you burn uh, at rest. So you you have to have a fuel at rest, uh, and when you're working long duration, long distances. So uh, ultra marathon runners um, burn a lot of fat, and then as you're resting, you're actually burning fat as well. Um, so the quality of that fat needs to be elevated, just like everything else we have. But examples of fat are you're going to get good quality fat from things like avocados and olives. Um, honestly, there's been a lot of talk in the, the mainstream media recently about coconut oil. Um, and the recent things we've heard are coconut oil is bad, but the, the studies on that were done by vegetable oil and canola oil companies. So we know that coconut oil is... Uh, as right now, as we know it right now, as the research shows us right now, coconut oil is a good quality source of fat. Um, most of your, of your oils are going to be decent sources of fat. 
Um, little known fact that I don't know, uh, I'll share with you guys, extra virgin olive oil is not meant to be cooked with. It is meant to be a dressing. All right, if you're gonna cook with an olive oil, make sure it's pure olive oil. Um, I prefer the lighter tasting olive oil. We used to get it from Kroger. It's, a, it's not that expensive, but it is a, uh, it's a very good tasting oil. It's not, pure olive oil is just got a heavy flavor to it. Uh, the lighter tasting olive oil just tastes better when we cook with it. All right, so you got carbs. Uh, think of them as anything that grows on or in the ground, mostly vegetable based. Right? Some fruit is okay, a little bit of starch, but no added sugar for your carbohydrates. Protein, anything with a face, we're going to count soy and tofu for today. And then fats are going to be nuts and seeds, avocados, olives, and your good quality oils. All right, Guys, that's it. That's Nutrition 101. Nice and easy. If you can do the CrossFit mantra for 30 days, then you're going to essentially change your life in how you feel. All right, so we'll talk, talk about more about the challenge. We're going to roll out a challenge for you guys starting August 1st. Uh, I've got to do some, some finalization on it right now. But that's it, Nutrition 101. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you have questions, make sure you ask them down here in the comment section. Um, make sure that you are um, asking questions. That's one of our Ten Commandments in the gym. Make sure you ask that stuff so we can answer them for you in particular. All right, see you guys later.